quick video on how to do bank reconciliations in Sage One Accounting. All we're going to do for this video is focus on reconciling the income amounts. So on this side, the receive section for only customers. Okay, we're going to ignore any internet transfers or PayPal um, payments. So we're just going to do something easy today and just reconcile all the ones where there's an individual customer. So that it means that there should be an existing invoice that we can match it to. So here's how you do it. I'm going to look at this one. So this is Kate. I'm going to go to my account. So because we're reconciling to an existing customer, what we're going to do is instead of putting it to account, we put customer. Customer is here. We're going to find the customer. So I'm going to put Kate down. Then I'm going to allocate it to the invoice that we created originally. Here we go. Kate every day to customer and we've allocated to the customer. And so we're saying that from this customer, we've received $12. Let's check if there was an invoice for it. So we're going to now allocate So this one here. Okay, can you see that button? That means allocate. Click that button and then we're going to find the invoice. So sometimes there are many invoices, but in this case, and you can actually allocate to many invoices if you like. In this case, it's just the one invoice and we're going to save it. There you go, your reconciliation for that one customer is done. So you can see that allocate has gone green, so it means it's allocated. Now I'm going to click on that and I'm going to click mark as reviewed. So now it's your turn.